Welcome everybody to another virtual event presented to you by the Mesquite Arts Council. I'm your host and instructor, Erica Wajardo, and today we're going to be learning about mascaras. Given that it is Hispanic Heritage Month from September 15th through October 15th, I thought it would be a fun way to learn a new word. A lot of you are probably staring at the screen saying, what's a mascara? Well, it means mask. And on October 30th, we're going to be celebrating here at the Mesquite Art Center, Dia de los Muertos, cultural celebration. This is an in-person event, it's from four to seven, and it will be hosted on the perimeter of the Mesquite Art Center outside. Wow. To make sure that you are ready for this event, I wanted to give an opportunity to all to create before you come. Don't worry, if you don't get a chance to stop by, we will be offering this event in person on Dia de los Muertos. Throughout the world, Dia de los Muertos is celebrated on November 1st and 2nd, but we will be celebrating here at the Art Center a little bit earlier. To understand a little bit more about the celebration, let's dive into this book. Dia de los Muertos by Roseanne Greenfield Dong. Illustrated by Carlos Balastero. It's Dia de los Muertos. The sun's coming around as niños prepare in each pueblo and town. For today, we will honor our daily departed with celebrations. It's time to get started. They're heaped with rec recujeros and good things to share. Sweet calaveras show sugary white. They give toothy smiles, but never a fright. A black and white photo of Grandpa Padilla, who's riding on horse just like Pancho Villa. And toys for remembering small alejitos. A train and a dollhouse are both favoritos. Then off to the graveyard, we head with ofriendas and colorful blankets to make meriendas. We carry inciensos and velas to burn that will guide spirits back to their yearly return. And burst of caladulas, fragrant and bright, the color of sunset and gold candlelight. A path of patalos will help lead our guests to pillow and blankets for taking a rest. Above we hang streamers of papel picado that wave in the breeze like rainbow pintado. We giggle at paper cut banners we like, escuelitos riding a horse cart or bike. We share in the foods that our guests love to eat, fresh fruit and tamales, a holiday treat, and clay pots of grandmother's fresh chicken stew with mugs of ato, a chocolate brew. But everyone's favorite is sugary bread called pan del muerto with bones of the dead that offers our travelers a much needed snack from the wary viaje that brought them all back. Then after our lunch comes the part we love most, putting on makeup to dress like a ghost. In veils and costumes, we join the parade. Although we wear muscles, no one is afraid. Gilberto has scars and a special carona. Annabelle looks like a real La Lerona. Joaquin's Snow White Barba sweeps down to the floor while Luz looks like someone we've all seen before. And just as the marigold clouds end the day, dancers and musicals come out to play. They wear special shells that go clickety-clack to wake up Espreditas, calling them back. As candle flames glisten, our smiles are bright. Our ancestors know we are with them tonight. They return to the world without sadness or fear, knowing they'll stay in our hearts till next year. Day of the Dead, or Dia de los Muertos, is celebrated on November 1st or 2nd in Mexico and other Latin American countries and communities. It is a day to remember and honor the dead and welcome these spirits home for a night. The emphasis of the day 
is on the joy of life rather than the sadness of death. Some families build home altars, while others visit cemeteries to hold picnics and spend time with departed souls. Home altars are adored with photos, flowers, candles, or the, the deceased's favorite possessions and foods. Families also sent out sweet egg bread, known as pan del muerto, or bre bread of the dead. It is formed into various shapes, from skulls to rabbits, or covered with frosted white sugar to look like skeleton bones. Sugar skulls, or calaveras, are known as gifts and placed on altars. The skulls often sold in open air markets are colorfully decorated with icing, bright foil, frosting, and names of loved ones. Families head to cemeteries to clean and decorate grave sites. Graves can be adorned with the candles offering flowers and incense. In some villages, paths of bright marigold petals led from the cemetery to individuals' homes. The petal's strong scent is said to guide spirits home. Colorful paper banners known as papel picado depict comical scenes like skeletons on horseback or ghosts riding bicycles. Offerings of favorite foods and possessions are displayed in hopes of enticing spirits back for a visit. Stuffed animals, toy cars, cookies, or sodas might be left for young alejitos, angels. Cheque mole, tequila, or atol, a hot chocolate beverage, might be set out for older souls. Day of the Dead traditions are said to be over 3,000 years old, stemming from ancient traditions of Aztecs and other pre-Columbian groups. These ancient peoples believe in the afterlife and view death as part of life, something to be accepted and embraced. When the Spanish arrived in the Americans, they changed the celebration date from the summer to fall, so it would co coincide with All Saints and All Souls Day, November 1st and November 2nd. In this way, the Aztec and the Catholic cultures became intermingled. To this day, children and adults celebrate Dia de los Muertos by having fun, painting faces, dressing up like ghosts, and mocking death. In this way, the whole pueblo or community can joyfully connect with departed relatives and Wow, that was really educational and fun. Don't you agree? Well, I'm glad you learned how to turn this into this. And this book really helped us to learn a little bit more about Dia de los Muertos and what to expect when you visit us on October 30th. If you are going to pick up a packet for this. There will be a glossary of words to learn and maybe a couple of extra little things. I want to make sure that as we move forward in years to come, we get more and more educated on different cultures that are currently present in the United States. 
wow. Until we see each other again, stay safe.